looks like Princess Leia. guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the video, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. No. Before we get started into the video, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok pages. Those will be flashed on the screen. So today, I figured, you know what? New year, new vibes. 2022, we're all just trying to chase new vibes. And honestly, I feel like for my hair, I definitely need to change because I have been wearing waist length box braids for the longest time. The last time I had anything outside of that hairstyle was a sew-in from when I was 22. It's been almost four years now since I've done anything like different with my hair. The only difference between the styles that I've done is just the color, honestly. Like I just switch up the color, but it's still, you know, same thing, just waist length box braids, but I wanna try something different. I took my hair out, obviously, a couple weeks back. And since then, I was actually wearing a U-part wig that I got from AliExpress and she's a beautiful wig. Like, you're perfect, you're beautiful, them. you look like Linda Evangelista, you're a model. Don't get me wrong, she's a lot synthetica, she's 22 inches, she was the life of the party. I loved wearing this, but honestly, long term, I don't know how you people do it. Like, wigs just make my head so hot and I don't know I, I, I don't know how you do it, really. I gotta go back to braids. That and because I've also noticed that just this weather here has been detrimental for my scalp. And I'm not sure if it's just because I don't have braids anymore, but I tried parting my hair the other day and my whole scalp was just like flaking. And I said, ah, that's not normal. That's not right. I ended up washing my hair last night and I did like a little twist out and just put it into these little ponytails for the day just to get stuff done. But I decided to kind of try and delve into a different realm of hairstyles. Personally for me, I don't think I could pull off crochet because my hair grows really fast and having to take out a style and redo it every four to six weeks is not the kind of commitment that I'm ready to make. I'm sorry, I just don't have the time. I came across an idea that I actually used to do a lot as a kid, but I don't know why it's just dwelling on me now. Hello. I want to channel my inner Zoe Kravitz this year and achieve my final form of doing goddess braids. So the only difference between goddess braids this time is that instead of braiding my hair all the way down to the waist, I'm just going to braid past my natural hair and then leave the ends loose hanging down. When I started like looking into like different ways to do the style, I kind of tried thinking about like what kind of curls I wanted to use because I didn't want anything too tight. Otherwise then it would mat up very, very quickly and then knew that maintenance was gonna be very difficult. I wanted to go for like a looser curl kind of feel. So I'm gonna show you the hair that I got from the hair store today. And this is probably the most money I've ever spent on hair in my life. I have a method on how I can reuse it, or at least I think I do. So if that ever ends up happening, it'll be a video on my channel. Hopefully. Anyways, so the hair that I got is the Fritius Viva Curl in 18 inches in the color 1B. So it's a very pretty, loose looking wave. This flare is not doing it justice at all, but I'll show you again when I take it out of the pack. And this hair is $12.99. I live in Canada, by the way, so it's probably cheaper if you're in America or somewhere else, I don't know. And I also got the color T3. So it's a darker brown on the top and it just goes to an ombre lighter brown on the bottom. Again, the packet is not doing it justice. So I'll make sure I take it out and let you guys look at it. But yeah, this is also an 18 inches. I got four packs in the black and then two packs in the T30 because I wanted to add a little bit of color. I plan on braiding past my hair and then securing it with rubber bands, clear rubber bands that I have in this bag here. It looks like a bag of cheese. So that way I could probably reuse the hair or if my hair starts to curl out, I could just cut through the rubber bands, take out the braids with my hands and then braid them back in. So that way I don't damage the hair long-term and I don't have to cut it all off. Right now, I just need to take care of this little situation I got going on over here. Put a whole bunch of oils and stuff in it. It's still feeling pretty dry. I'm 
not sure why. I'm going to blow it out and probably do like a whole bunch of parting off camera. Maybe even straighten it just a little bit just so that way I have better control. Because this hair isn't the kinky kind of texture that I typically braid with, I want to make sure that I really nip in all of those ends. I don't want any of my little curls to like fly out of the sides and stuff. And I don't think that blowing it out is going to be enough. I just hope that I have enough with the six packs that I bought because honestly this hair was looking a little on the thin side. A little on the thin side when I purchased it just looking at the packet and I have a lot of I plan on doing that tomorrow. I'm gonna start actually with the parting and blowing out now and hopefully start with the braiding tomorrow. So I will hop back on here tomorrow to show you what's going down. Hopefully it doesn't take me as long. From what I've been seeing people do, this style takes a lot less time than traditional box braids, but we shall see. Okay, so I'm gonna go that way do what I need to do to this and I will see you guys in the next clip all right good morning I just had my hair in a little bit of a twist out that I took out today and I just had my hair up in the do-rag overnight just to make sure that nothing got tangled or anything um last night I actually just straightened the ends of my hair but I left on um, the roots just in its blown out state because I wanted to make sure that the hair wasn't too slippery enough for me to like grip and everything because I'm working with a different hair texture today right now I'm just gonna get to I'm gonna get to just parting my hair. I'm gonna be using some jam to clean up my parts and everything. So I'm gonna part my hair off camera and then I'm going to show you how I've parted it, come back and then open the packets of hair and then get started with the braiding. Okay, so it has been a couple of hours. <laughs> I already kind of parted my hair. I have this side over here. And then I also did a couple of test braids in the back just to kind of see what it would look like put together. Oh, oops. But this is what it's looking like. So this is... Hello? This is the T30 color. So they come in little ringlets like that. It's a beautiful ombre brown color. And it just goes from dark brown to light brown. I'm also using the color 1B. So it looks like this. When I take them out of the pack, they just kind of look like this. You can separate them, but I suggest do not start separating them from the top. Otherwise, you'll end up with something like this. So I feel like the process of doing this hairstyle realistically would be shorter than doing like the traditional box braids that I'm used to. But the only issue with this hair is separating it so that way the curls don't flatten out or not together. The way that I separate them is I just grab my finger and kind of go through the center of it and start separating from the bottom going up. And then when they start to look a little crazy, I'll just kind of run my hand through it like that. So you've already got like one side somewhat free. If there are like any problem pieces like what's going on now, see how that's starting to knot up, I'll just cut it. I'll cut it and then I'll get rid of the same piece on the other side after I've taken out the rest. It's just separating the hair that is really, so far being the most tedious process of this whole endeavor. But once it goes onto my head, it looks pretty cool. Now I'm just going to keep braiding and separating more strands. I'm also separating pieces and moving them to the side here on my chair. This one's a bit big, but I'll separate it again. So I'm separating pieces to feed into the braid and then like, pull out the tail pieces. So I just gotta fix this really quickly. Hold on a minute. With my braid, like there are pieces that sit outside of the braid like that. Take one of the little ringlets and kind of separate that into smaller pieces than I would use for the braid itself. For 
at least just one braid, I use one ringlet. I just grab whatever's like in the package already and I'll split that into like a couple of, like one slightly thinner section and then a large section so that way I can have the hair to do the braid. Use the smaller pieces to feed in and then leave out afterwards. Right now, I'm just going to continue doing that. I finished this row over here. So the next row I'm going to be parting is somewhere in here. I'm gonna part this into two rows and I'm also doing the brick layering. I'm stacking them so that way it hides the braid a little bit better. Also to finish the braid, I'm just using clear elastic bands. Just these standard clear elastic bands, something like that. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna continue doing more of this and then get back to you guys. Hi guys, currently looking very, very greasy, but let's not get into that. I've been braiding for quite some time. I would say I spent pretty much my whole day braiding. It's 1 a.m. 1, 1 a.m. I just wanted to show you guys how far I got with the braiding. The hair is actually very long for only 18 inches, so I am very surprised. Let me show you how long the hair gets. And I did trim it just a little bit because it was kind of getting in the way. And it already looks super full. But the hair comes pretty much to my waist. And like I said, I still have to trim it, but I'm currently loving it so far. It's very, very full. But I only got through about half of my I have this little spot that I was working on and it goes down pretty far. I'm definitely going to cut it a little bit just so that way it's a bit more manageable. This is how far I got with like a full day of braiding. I did do some test braids on the side here just to see what it would look like with like a bigger size like how I felt about it and so far I like it. The larger sizes of braids that I did over here. Yeah that's where I'm at for right now. I plan on waking up in the morning, exercising, and then um, continuing with the braiding for the rest of the day. I can't believe it's Tuesday. I've never done my hair on a Tuesday. I always wait until the weekend. I mean, I have something planned for the weekend, so I kind of wanted to get it done before then. Yeah, this is what it's looking like. There are a bit of some matted ends on the insides here, but once it's like fully done, I'll go through how I've been trying to keep it from looking very, very frizzy and all of that. That's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys later on when I've tackled more of this and then I'll kind of go through a little bit of how I do the braids but more so towards the front of my head because adding the pieces might be a little bit difficult but I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Yeah, good night! <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. So it's currently 9 a.m. I just slept with my hair up in a little bun in my do-rag and right now I'm just gonna try and tackle more of the braiding. I'm gonna focus more on the back and then I'll try and like kind of segue my way towards the front in a little bit. And then once I start doing the front, I'll like insert like a little mini braid tutorial. <laughs> I'm just at the same spot that I left off at last night. But before I went to bed, I decided to kind of like dampen the curls with like a spray bottle just so that way they would form a little bit better to reduce frizz. And that kind of worked really well for me. But I still plan on thinning the hair out a lot more. <laughs> once the lead is done, I'm sure it's gonna be very, very puffy. I'm gonna get started and see you in the next clip. Hi guys, it's about 12 o'clock. I've been braiding for about three hours. I just wanted to show you how far I got. So I'm kind of like right there. Running really low on time, so I don't have time to like really set up my tripod and everything. This is about two packs of hair already, and it's very, very full as you can see. Now I'm gonna open another pack and start with the front and just leave this so that way I can just tie my hair up because I have to be out of this house in maybe like the next couple of hours. So I want to finish that as soon as possible. It's so puffy. So I'm in my car, still working on my hair. Let me show you guys my setup. What? Setup. <laughs> I just got. This is so ridiculous. And I'm watching Chronicle. There I am in the mirror, if you can see me. Hi. Oh man, the things I do, man. <laughs> hey everybody, it's your girl with a voiceover. First, I'm just putting some jam in my hair and then starting off the braid with the pieces that I left to the side. I'm gonna zoom in for you here really quickly. So here you can just see me braiding down the length of my hair. I'm 
Then I'm grabbing one of those tiny pieces that I set to the side and I'm putting the piece on the third leg of the braid, so the middle piece, and then the second half of that piece is going on to the leg that's further out. Then I do a braid just to make sure that the hair doesn't move. And I separate one of those little pieces that I just incorporated and just throw that to the back of my head or the top of my head and continue braiding down the length of my hair. I get further down I just grab that other piece of the other side that I braided into my hair and pull it out put it on the top of my head and continue braiding down past my hair and adding a rubber band to secure it realistically I could have kept the pieces shorter because I did end up cutting them but you know you live and you learn so here I'm just putting some more jam into my hair and getting the hair ready to braid. So here I am starting the braid, going down the length of my hair. Then once I get down far enough, I grab one of those tiny little pieces that I set off to the side to put into my braid, and I place it in this side. I place it on top, on the leg closest to my face, and then wrap it around so it gets onto the leg in the center. Do a small braid just to secure it, Grab one of those pieces, put it on the top of my head, and continue braiding downwards. Once I've braided down far enough, I grab the other piece of that leg from the hair that I just put into the braid, take it out, and put it to the back of my head, and continue braiding down. So I finished with all of the braiding. This is approximately four packs of hair. So two packs of the brown and two packs of the black. As you can see, this hair is very, very full at the bottom, especially. Like, look at that. I look like a poodle that just went through. I don't know, a wind tunnel and just got like a wash and set. What I'm going to try to do now is thin this out just a little bit, just to add like some more dimension. Mainly I'm gonna focus on the end pieces here. So like each piece has obviously a rubber band and then this is the part that's super thick. So what I'm gonna try doing is I'm gonna use my scissors and also an eyebrow razor just to kind of feather it out to get rid of a lot of the bulk. And this for sure is going to take a while, but I'm gonna try and keep the bottom pieces so like very close to like the nape of my neck. Probably still this long. I'm gonna just cut it first, see how it looks, and then go from there. Cause this is, this is a lot. I wasn't expecting it to be this full if I tried to put it up, so. Could you imagine the horror of trying to get a hair tie or even a scrunchie through all of that? I don't want to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing my eyebrow razor and just 
pulling it and hacking at it just a feather of it and then grabbing the bits that are coming off and then chucking that into a bin. I'm also going through and like cutting out any of the knots. You can see there's like a knot right here and right there. I'm just gonna cut at a downwards angle and snip that off. I'm gonna try to thin this out and I'll be back. So it's been a couple minutes and I finished thinning out this side of my hair. So you can already see the difference in the level of like puffiness. Can you stand up a bit? Yeah, so you can already see how like full this side is and how dulled down this one is. This is the right amount of puffiness that I want to keep. So that way when I bring it to the back, it's not too crazy. I just wanted to add that like in order to add some definition, I cut the um, left out pieces kind of on the short side. So there's one of them there. And it also adds like a lot of definition because the shorter pieces, they spring upwards a little bit more, whereas the longer pieces, they're weighed down. Kind of obsessed. And the color came out really, really nice. Anyways, gonna finish this side and then come back and show what it looks like all finished. It's me again. So last night I slept with my hair in a silk cap. This is the hair all thinned out and now I'm just going through it and getting rid of the tangles and the frizz. I just have a bottle of warm water and hair conditioner that I put into the bottle and I'm just spraying it throughout just to get rid of any knots and tangles that I see and getting the curls to form a little better. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. I know that my videos are typically long and I tend to over explain, but it's just because I want you guys to do better than me if you try this style. If you like this tutorial, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like the video, like, comment, and subscribe anyways, because I post content whenever I can, because I'm a mediocre YouTuber. I just try my best. <laughs> I'm really loving this look, so um, be sure to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok accounts, all of those will be down in the description box. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Bye!